On this segment of the Global Sport Fisherman, we're going to talk, be talking about rigging rubber shads. Shads are a very, very popular artificial bait that guys are rigging to put on their dredges, primarily dredges. This is normally how they're rigged. They'll cut out a small notch on the bottom of the, of the, um, the shad. This is where their two or three ounce egg weight is going to go in. They're going to take um, heavy mono thread it through, up and around and back, and crimp it off, and then they're going to actually tie it, okay, to give it a little bit more uh, stability and whatnot, the strength, okay, so it won't tear apart. We're going to show you a way, another way of putting lead uh, into a shad, as well as eliminate all of this rigging with the mono and or the wire. So let's get started, and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. As I said in the opening, this is one of the ways to rig a shad with a uh, chin weight. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot involved and whatnot, and it, uh, you end up with a pretty bulky, uh, unnatural looking bait. Here is a shad here, okay, that has a one inch weight, a one ounce weight inside the belly. And you can see how neat and clean it looks. I'm going to show you how to put that lead inside this belly and have a much cleaner looking bait. Alright, so what we have, we have this little kit, okay, and this little kit entails bait springs that are made out of .051 wire. They're very heavy wire um, and they actually come in a couple of different lengths um, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, um, but they're wires that can be used over and over again. Um, they're extremely sturdy, and they're not going to pull. Once they're screwed into a bait, you're not pulling that out. There's just no way you're going to pull it out. Um, so let's get involved first in showing you how to put that lead inside that shad. Now, as you can see in the kit, we have quarter-inch round lead. And they're approximately eight inches in length, and I think there's ten of them in here. We also have a little tool, a little, uh, uh, this is very similar to the deboning tool that we have in our Ballyhoo rigging kit. We also have a small knurled tool with a slotted end and an end with a hole in it, and I'll show you what that's used for. And then we have all these little dual lock snaps and whatnot. That's what you're going to actually connect your bait to your dredge or whatever it is you're rigging the shads to. So let's get involved first with putting the lead inside that shad. All right, let's just move this all out of the way. Now, the only thing you're going to need is you're going to, that we don't supply is you're going to need a pair of side cutters, right, which is going to cut your lead to whatever length you want. And you're going to need some baby oil or uh, pledge uh, furniture polish or whatever. And I'll show you why you, you need that. All right, let's open this up, and I'm just going to squirt a little bit right inside there. That's it. Now, you're going to take the little deboner, and you're going to grab one of your shads, and just with the baby oil, you just want to put a little dab right in front, right on the head. And you're going to take this, center it, and you're going to push it right into the bait, and you want to go down as far as you want, depending upon how long of a piece of lead you're going to put in there. And once you get it down as far as you want to go, just bend it and twist it, and bend it and twist it, and then pull this out. And what that does, there's a little piece of rubber that was taken out of the, the shad, and it must still be in there. Let's do it again here just to make sure we got it. Yeah, here it is. This is also in the kit too. It's just a little reamer to get that out. Now this is just a little piece of rubber that was inside this bait and it now going to allow us to put the lid in there. So we're going to cut this. Now approximately three inches of this quarter inch lead equals an ounce. So you just cut it. It's very easy to cut. Again, you're going to take a little bit of that 
baby oil. Just put this right in the end of this tool and you're just going to push it right in that hole. Just go all the way in like that. Now you've got one ounce of weight in that bait. All right, now, instead of running mono or wire through it and everything else and crimping it and bending it back over, we're actually going to take this little tool and one of these bait springs and you're just going to start it right in the nose. Just start it like that. You're going to take this little tool here and you're just going to twist it right into that bait. And just going to go all the way down and just keep twisting. As you can see how far it's going in as and the diameter of the wire there's just no way that this is going to pull off this spring. All right. And now you have a bait, a shad with one ounce of weight in it and the spring in it, and it looks considerably cleaner than this setup here. All right. Now, if you want to rig your shad with a dredge head such as this, just take this off. All you're going to need is the longer spring, all right, which is going to go into about like that. And that gives you the ability to put the dredge head on it like that. Um, as you can see, it's a very, very simple, easy system. Um, anybody can do it. All right, we're going to do another one now, just so I can just repeat what we did before. Just take this after putting a little dab of the baby oil on it center it and just hold it firmly just go right into that bait and just go right down the center and once you get down as far and down as far as you want just bend it a little bit like that that should cut that little tube that we've actually made now take your reamer You can see that's the, what we took out of the inside of the bait. All right, just come back here to your lead, cut a short piece, just put it in the tool. Again, a little bit of baby oil. Just start it nice and easy in that hole. Push it in. Can't get any easier or cleaner looking than that. All right. Now, as I said, the only thing you're going to need, other than what we provide here in this kit, is you're going to need a pair of, you know, side cutters. You can use regular fisherman's pliers if you have to. You're going to need some baby oil, or you can use, like, a lemon pledge or something like that, okay? Um, either one will work just as fine, just as well, I should say. Um, I really don't recommend using the, the pledge. Um, and the reason for that being it's pretty silly, but I mean if your wife sees you using this Odds are next time uh, something has to be polished in the house. You're going to end up doing it So your last thing you want to do is let her know that you know how to use this stuff But as you can see it's a very very simple easy system It's quick easy. You can do this in your garage your living room or whatever um, If you end up with a nice neat clean bait um, that'll last quite some time for you. One thing also you should do with the shads is notch the tail. Just take a pair of scissors and just put a little V-notch in it. Now what that does, I mean you can see these tails are pretty flimsy. This little notch there won't take any action away from the bait, but it takes a lot of the stress off of that tail. So they'll last a lot longer for you. Now rigging the rubber baits with this quarter inch lead uh, it's not limited to shads. I mean, you can do it with actually any rubber bait there is. Um, and also, the two and three ounce egg sinkers that they normally put and rig a shad like this, it's really not necessary. I mean, all you want is lead in the bottom of this bait, okay, just to keep it upright so it's swimming properly. Adding extra weight on the shad like this 
really doesn't do a whole lot, okay, for, for your dredge, other than it adds a lot of weight and excess stress on the arms of the dredge. This is by far a better way to do it. Um, and as I said, you can use it for just about any type of rubber bait there is. There are different diameter um, uh, diameters of lead that you can use. This is quarter inch, and we have eighth inch, and we have three thirty seconds. So I mean, you can see you can actually do the smallest of baits. Another product that we came up with are squid wires, half ounce and one ounce. It's heavy gauge wire, has a loop on each end, uh, and they come in kits. We have a kit with twenty four. Dredge um, squid wires in it, plus the dual lock snaps, as well as an open eye needle, which is going to be used to actually thread this right up inside the squid. Um, it makes for a nice, clean squ squid. There's no rigging, there's no mono, there's no crimps or anything like that. What you're going to do is you're just going to take the open eye needle, you're just going to insert it up into the squid, into that little hole coming out, and then you're going to take your dredge squid wire and just hang it from there like that make sure everything's straight you pull it through and that's it it's easy it's simple it's it's a positive way um, to rig these squids um, you can see that without the mono and everything else there's no tangling that's going to um, uh, come about when you try to deploy these things um, as i said they come half ounce and they come one ounce and uh, it just makes it quite easy to rig a, a, one of these squids for a dredge. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a, as I say, it's very simple. Um, it's easy. It's effective. And uh, you can adjust your amount of weight by the length of the uh, lead that you put in it. Um, the springs that we have, they are, besides in the kit, you can buy them separately in a different lengths, you know, for just straight. Uh, springs or uh, shads with the, that you're going to add the um, uh, dredge head to. And then we also have the lead that you can buy in quarter, quarter inch lead that comes in five pound spools is approximately 20 feet you know, per spool. And that's it. Uh, if you have any questions at all, give us a call at 800-979-3474 or just go on the web at tournamentcable.com and uh, See if we can help you out. That's it.